Well, I now kind of have some bad news with my Super Nintendo. I made a um, video over a year ago, uh, basically trying to bleach, I guess it would be using hydrogen peroxide, hydrogen peroxide cream to uh, try to de-yellow a Super Nintendo. And since then, it has started to turn yellow again. So, can't really see, but I mean... There's like a stark contrast. This actually was like whiter at one time when I tried to de-yellow it. And now it's turning yellow again. So I basically just decided I'm gonna paint I'm gonna paint it and move on. So let's get started. And I also decided to do a test piece painting, and this is the color that I chose, which is a uh, a darker gray. But I like it. I'm using um, vinyl dye paint or vinyl fabric dye paint. So that's what I'll be using on majority of the console. I'm not gonna like do any crazy customizations. I'm just gonna paint paint the console because I'm sick of it looking like this. So here's a quick update. Um, I have the top housing painted along with the controller bezel, the cartridge um, door. The buttons I'm probably just going to keep the way they are. Right now they're they're yellowed but they just look maroon. And if you flip them over you can see what they originally used to be, but I mean they don't look too bad. If I get annoyed I'll do something with them. Um These are the parts that don't yellow, obviously, the Super Nintendo badge, which goes right here. I'm debating that I'm going to keep this original color here, tape here, and then paint this. So it'll just be straight across, and then this will go here, same color, I'm not going to change that, and then it'll be broke up with cartridge slot door. So I think that'll look pretty cool. But that's where I'm at right now. And we'll keep plugging along. I have, do have the bottom cover. And if you can see how yellow it is. And with, there used to be a sticker here when I actually bought the console. But I mean, if you flip to the other side, it's fine. But I've already cleaned this. I actually had this soaking in um, hot soapy water. I was kind of worried about, you know, because I, I want to keep the stickers. I don't want the stickers to come off. And the stickers are unaffected, so I'm, I'm really happy about that. So what I'm going to do is basically tape off the sticker areas here. And then paint that. And then obviously when the paint's done the sticker areas and hopefully this should be painted and the sticker areas should be fine nice and clean and we'll pick up from there so I did the bottom cover and it came out really good with the exception of um, where is it at I have this spinning on a glass I masked, masked off all the uh, stickers. What the hell is it? Ah. Right here. That's the 1 800 Nintendo number. I put masking tape on there or um, painter's tape, and when I pulled it up, it took up the sticker. So, I was very um, pissed off. But other than that, everything else turned out fine. And right now I'm just kind of letting the paint cure. There's some paint on the feet. And I basically kind of put a painter's tape on the feet. I don't really care, I mean, about that, how good that is, but... As you can see, it turned out pretty good. I mean, 
you know, there's some cut areas, but, you know, what I did was I just put masking tape on there and I cut it and, you know, I did the best I can do. The stickers are salvaged, you know, like the serial numbers and all that are still on there, so all the information is still there. So now I'll let the paint cure and after that's done, we'll put it together and see what it looks like. All right. I got it all painted and assembled. Works perfectly. I really, really, really like the way it turned out. And obviously, you can see all the cracks and all that. I mean, but I mean, it looks really good. It doesn't even really look like it. it's painted, which is one of the benefits of uh, using the dye um, vinyl paint is that basically it penetrates it the plastic so that it actually absorbs into it on top of also painting it um, what I did was I decided to keep this and this the original color I painted the door just to kind of break it up because um, I don't want to lose the uh, Super Nintendo uh, graphic um, I think it looks really good though I mean I, I, I really like it so um, this is how it looks with a game in it. I think it looks sharp. Even the buttons, the buttons are basically yellowed, but they appear uh, as like a burgundy, which I think it looks. I think it looks good on here. I might change my mind um, as we get close, because right now it's winter. As we get close to like spring, if if you know if it starts to bother me, maybe I'll take the buttons off, paint them purple, and then um, what I can do is I can get some of the. Um, it's like uh, the water slide decals. So basically what you do is uh, you could print out like the power graphic and the reset graphic and then put it on there and then do a clear coat over it. Um, but I don't know if I'll do that. Um, at the moment, I'm pretty happy with the way this looks. So if you like this video, so subscribe, give a like. Thank you.